氷に閉ざされた獣たちの国方向とどろき東土の地で新たな戦いののろしが上がるフェイトグランドオーダーコスモス・イン・ザ・ロストベルト永久東土帝国アナスタシア Hello everyone, welcome back to the Anastasia Lost Belt. We are approaching what I feel like is the end game, or at least getting close to it, as we head off to the tumultuous land. What a good word. That's a, that's a strong word, tumultuous. Try to pop that in once a day, you know? Try to say like, man, my、uh, experience eating cereal this morning was quite tumultuous, to which your significant other says, I don't know what that word means. Why are you speaking like that? Then you to explain that a Canadian YouTuber who plays、uh, Fate Grand Order and puts way too much money into it、uh, told you to. And、uh, then everything will be solved. Okay, that took many days. We'll soon be in the vicinity of the capital. This should be the closest we can get without the opportunity detecting us. Beowulf Billy, once we park the border, I would like you two to find bike horns for everyone to ride. It is imperative that you do so before daybreak. I'll have our master take a quick nap in the meantime. Miss Musashi, you and I will keep an eye on things here. That was a breaking sound. Alright, see y'all later. Give my regards to sleeping be. Ah.、Uh, I mean, master. So I'm on bike horn duty too, huh? Yeah, alright, whatever.、Uh, don't worry, this will be easy. Kit will be back soon. Alright, be careful, everyone. I wish I was as comfy as that mash ever. It's so cold. I can feel my breath actually freeze. Yeah, I'd be dead in no time if I weren't a servant. Man, it's beyond freezing out here, isn't it? Musashi, aren't you supposed to be on standby in the command room with Holmes? Oh,、uh, that. I slipped out when no one's looking. There's nothing for me to do in there anyway. Besides, I wanted to talk to you. Mind if I sit next to you? And Match is like in the snow?、Uh, no, that's fine with me. You've been to America and other countries in the Northern Hemisphere, and a number of places in the Southern Hemisphere and the tropics? Amazing. Oh, but exactly where in the tropics? Guam, Indonesia? And nope, it was actually Hawaii! Hey! It was a real lucky break for me that they speak Japanese there. Well, some do. They even had udon restaurants. Maru something or other. Anyway, Hawaii was the best! I didn't get along too well with the goddess Pele at first, but we were good friends by the end. Little preview of, I guess, the summer event. Ah,、oh, you're such a seasoned traveler, Musashi. It's like you could race shift anywhere and fit right in. Y you think? I mean, I'm always getting in some sort of trouble, like when I have to dine and dash. You seem to enjoy that kind of commotion and always find a way to overcome it. I really admire that. Me, I could never hope to do that. I used to look forward to visiting all sorts of places outside of Caldia, but now the idea just fills me with dread. I thought I understood that reading about things and actually experiencing them were completely different. And yet, I used to be able to fight, but now my shield feels unbelievably heavy. I'm finding myself scared of the people in this Lost Belt and how they live their lives. I see. So that's why you haven't been able to go out in the front lines. You know, Tanner used to brag about you all the time. I remember once he told me, Mash is the best shielder in the whole world. There's no other girl in the world I trust as much as her. That's. I mean, it's the only shielder that we know. And that's made meeting you kind of strange. I thought, what happened to the strong girl? Tanner always told me about, but now it all makes sense. So sorry. I know I'm, only, I'm the only one relegated to providing your support. I hate knowing I could be out there fighting as a servant. If only I could get out from under this fear holding me back.、Hmm? So it's fear that's keeping you from fighting, huh? In that case, isn't it out of your hands? I mean, who in the right mind wouldn't be scared to risk their life in battle? That's not really something you should feel bad about, you know? You mean, you're scared too, Musashi? Even after seeing so many worlds and surviving so many impossible, incredible things? I didn't realize you thought of me as some kind of unfeeling gorilla woman. That's a good band name. I mean, sure, I love fighting duels, but I've never not been scared to risk my life. Hell, when you get right down to it, the only reason I fight at all is because it's all I know how to do. If there was something else I was good at, or something else I wanted to do, I'd give up the whole dueling thing in a heartbeat. I mean, the fact I'm still drifting around aimlessly just goes to show I'm no more of a scoundrel than. 
I missed the words. I'm no more than a scoundrel who could never find another way to live, but never mind that. For you, it's different. You used to be able to do this, and now you can't. Before, you were able to give it everything you had, but now it feels like you just don't have anything left to give. Mash, that's called depression. I think we need to get through this together. And that right there says it all. You, got all. you guys have never had to fight a battle where the whole world wasn't rooting for you. You've never been in a fight where your opponent loathed you, bystanders despised you. Even though what you were doing may have been the right thing, or you were fighting to save countless lives from something terrible. You get down to it, these sorts of battles, they're all about making your problems someone else's. And that's always going to make your opponents unhappy, no matter how it shakes out. And now you're here in this world of polar extremes, ha, <laughs> polar, and you've never experienced that. I'd be more surprised if you weren't having a hard time of it. What should I do? Do I need to shut my emotions off like some kind of machine? Is that how you've overcome all the obstacles you've had to face, Musashi? Not really. I don't care what my opponent's problems are. I just tell myself that everyone's got their own stuff to deal with, and that's that. So then, if I end up cutting them down easily, that proves I was right, and their battle's over. And if I can't do that, then they end up defeating me, it proves I was wrong, and that's that for my battle. That's just the sort of good-for-nothing swordmaster I am, so I guess what I'm saying is that I'm not really going to be much help to you, Mash. See, so I'm the only one who can solve my problems. Still, I can't help but think. Are we really doing the right thing for this world's history? The Yaga who live in it? And the right thing, hmm? Well, whether you are or aren't, you're just gonna have to get past it. If it gets down to a life or death choice, you'll find the answer is pretty clear pretty quick. That's when people start showing you who they really are. Still, your worries are important and just as valid as anyone else's. You shouldn't be afraid to have them. That, I can say for sure. At least all this time, I thought I was just wasting opportunities. Thinking about things is never a waste. If you actually did shut your mind off, that'd weaken you more than anything else you could do. Sure, there might be times when it seems like physically you've got nothing left and you can't save anyone on your own. But there's nothing more exhausting than the constant feeling that you should be doing something when you can't. I mean, sure, some people end up so overwhelmed by guilt or indecision that they end up becoming a burden, but that's not you. You're the kind of person who turns all that fretting into their own strength when all's said and done. Please don't feel like you're doing something wrong by worrying about this sort of stuff right now. Worrying is just what you need to be doing. Trust me, people like you are some of the scariest opponents you can face. Sashi. Anyway, this isn't the sort of problem you can solve in a day, and in the meantime, you've got me! And when we face Ivan the Terrible, I plan on repaying uh, for all the help in Shimosa and then some. I like that. That's a nice, that's a nice conversation. Oh, we're just in there, huh? Alright. Okay, we got some Zerkers and we got some, um... Okay, so we have a high-ranking Berserker, it looks like. So let's go with... Actually, let's go with this. Let's actually replace with a strong Merlin. I'm looking for like that. Oh ho! Oh ho! Okay! Alright! And we're gonna then go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, sisters. Oh, wait, who else is equipping it? Astolfo has it, okay. But then we're gonna switch you out for you. Because your whole shtick is that you get big strong with the sea stars. Okay, then we're going to go... Um, let's go with... Um, not by level, but by class. So, otherwise, I do want a... Um, look at all these extra copies. Let's go with... Uh, you. Let's be a backup. For that. Give you that um instead of ruler let's go with um mm, sure we're gonna just switch that off for because then we'll just give mash a simple one there um 
20% sea star drop rate. Yep, okay, and then this will give you... Instead, we can afford to give you a... Dragon's Meridian. Okay. All right. Time for so, so many freaking sea stars. And on, on Emya, who is already a sea star beast. Mwah. You'll love to see it. Kaldia had assembled a group of mages chosen for their aptitude for ray shifting. Of these mages, Team A were head and shoulders above the rest. Kirstaria Wodine. The pro Prodigy, said to be the true successor to the Animosphere Legacy. Oh! That's interesting. That's the first we've heard that. Philia Pharmasalone, Far the modern-day Valkyrie. I wonder what, what servant we get in that chapter. Scandinavia Peperocino. A man is shrouded in mystery as he is cheerful and well-liked. Barrel Gut, a mage... Seemed more like he belonged in a gang. Akuta Hinako, the taxiturn, the, the, the taxiturn misanthropic engineer, who somehow got along well with everyone. David Semvoid, a man who seemed like a hole in reality itself. It was his name supposed to be David, but they thought David was a cooler name. And Mashkirilite, the sole success of the Demi Servant experiments. Are we in a flashback? I guess that makes me the eighth. Oh wait, no, this is Cadoc Zemlupus. I know how little I know how little I'm capable of better than anyone else. My magecraft is mediocre, my family history is practically non-existent. Our bloodline only goes back about two hundred years, nothing worth being proud of. But I was still chosen to be a master, not for my lineage or my spell work, but for the power I was born with. I already felt like I'd wasted my life, so hearing they needed my help was the greatest joy I could imagine. After I came to Kaldi and joined Team A, I think my pride in my inferiority complex positively exploded. Every single member was absolutely top-notch talent. Ash Kyrielite was a test tube baby born and raised in Kaldia. She was more like a piece of equipment than a person. At best, she was on par with a homunculus. She may have had the same rights as any human, but nobody had any expectations as far as personality or achievements went where she was concerned. A real mage like Wodai must have thought just having her around was good enough. I agreed, of course. Neither me, nor David, nor Akuda interacted with her more than that's strictly necessary. Although I think Pepe and Ophelia used to invite her to eat with them, saying she was one of the girls. It was bewildered. I bewildered her more than anything. Even so, Team A needed her. The other members all had abundance of strengths beside their abilities to ray shift. Not me. There was only one thing I had. All I could do was cling to the lucky coincidence that I just happened to be able to command high-quality servants. Oh, come on. It's some... Oh, wait, no. You're, you're the Italian man. Oh, come on. That's no coincidence. Being good at other things doesn't necessarily mean you're the right person to restore humanity, you know. That's just true. It's just as true even if you're bad at other things. That's how it's supposed to be. Think about it. Destiny is practically smashed in your door here. Ooh, what an image. So the only thing you, my friend, need to worry about is how you make that destiny yours. And once you do that, Kadok, you will be well on your way. Me? Oh, don't you worry about me one bit. Destiny and I have always been on the outs. But you, you're just getting started. Think about it, the first line of protection for humanity itself. Who wouldn't dream about that? It's the closest any of us can get to being a real-life superhero, right? And Pepe clapped me on the shoulder. As if to tell me to shape up and stop feeling sorry for myself. Usually I don't like people invading my personal space, but for some reason, I can never get angry at him about it. He was right. I had to own this destiny. To swallow all the humiliation and bitter regrets I'd have been leading up to this point. The most notable characteristics of casters? Well, that's hard for me to say, being the unparalleled genius among geniuses that I am. But if I had to name something, I'd say casters are just as difficult to command as berserkers, but in a different sense, really. I mean, I'm one of the good ones, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? A true mage is so caught up in their own thoughts and craft that they don't even see people as people anymore. So don't even think about asking them to teach you their secrets. Your senses of what magecraft is will be so different from the from so different they might as well be from another dimension. Yeah, it figures. Even so, I'll still go with a caster. Ideally, after they learn to supply themselves with magical energy first. 
stepped into the coffin, doing my best to deal with the feeling of my own mind becoming undone. Soon my journey to restore humanity will begin in the little Japanese town of Fuyuki. I asked Takuda about it, but all she had to say was that it was nothing special. Boy, are you wrong! Maybe so, but there's still gotta be something going on there. I can't let my guard down. Now's the time to show everyone what I can do to prove that I was chosen for a re... Uh... So much for that. It was all meaningless. My life was stolen from me before I ever had a chance to prove how useful I could be. I didn't even get to take the first step. And you're blaming me, and not the demon god pillars who I killed, so you should love me for avenging you. So at least now it would be over. No more of this inferiority complex shit that tormented me all my life. Or at least that's what I thought. John? Nero? Drake? It's all of them. Mordred? Nightingale? Betty? Gil? Thank God it stopped there. They said he saved humanity. A single, completely ordinary boy, the very bottom of the barrel, recruited because we just needed to fill a quota. We happened to be the only one to survive the explosion. We gotta take the stage that was meant to be ours and accomplish something so great that no one could ever deny his worth. Normally, I could just ignore that. I could just tell myself not to compare myself to anyone else and just let it go, normally. When I heard that, I was overwhelmed by the strongest jealousy I'd ever felt in my life. It's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's just not fair. It could have been me, I could have done everything he did. I could have done it better. Circumstantial change confirmed. I have a proposal for you, Chosen Ones, an offer for those of you who were cast aside. I heard a voice that wasn't my own. A voice so calm, so dispassionate. Such a stark contrast to the gravity of what it had to say. If you desire acclamation, then choose rebirth. If you desire indol indolence, then choose eternal sleep. It makes no difference to God. What kind of a choice is that? Any living being would value their survival above anything else. The other six all made the same choice, so then each of us was given a territory, a heroic spirit. I have descended upon this world from another. The Tree of Emptiness will reset this world. From there, it will create new mythology. Rush proper human history. Construct new gods with your own hands. Create laws that are capable of accepting me. My territory. My Lost Belt. It's a 21st century Russia where Ivan the Terrible still rules supreme. The caster I summoned was Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov. Romanova, rather tragic descendant of the Romanov dynasty and the last to bear its legacy. But things here can't stay like this. The way of life here is completely at odds with the rest of the world. The Yaga life cycle is slowly but surely speeding up. That broken excuse for Asar is planning on invading the other Lost Belts without letting the Tree of Emptiness take root. That can't ever happen, so I'm going to take him out. I'm going to put an end to his centuries-long reign and save Russia from his tyranny. Not for the Yaga's sake, but for hers. Huh. I don't mind either way. Well, no, I suppose that's not true. I hate them. I hate those innocent humans who killed me. Nonetheless, I am human. I am a Romanov. I am not Ivan the Terrible. So even though I shall always carry this hatred and never again lower my guard for as long as I live, I will unite this Russia and see that it enjoys peace. That is both the Romanov's wish and our solemn duty. She said that she looked every bit the empress she aspired to be. Fine with me. If that's what she wants, I'll do everything I can to make it happen. I'll use anything I can get my hands on and trample anything that stands in my way. I'll even figure out a way to do something about Ivan the Terrible. He lives up to his name in every way. If he finds out what I'm up to, he'll have me brutally tortured and see me die for the second time in my life. But I don't mind dying again. At least I won't be as miserable as my first death. All right, Caddock, it's time to make a stand. It's time to grit your teeth and face your fears. Remember, everything you're doing is for this world. Yeah, Caddock is the protagonist of his own story, and we're gonna just end him. I'm surprised you let me live. I imagine Caddock wants to keep as many servants around as possible. He has his own ambitions and his own mountains to climb. The more pawns at his disposal, the better. 
I remember something now. Back when you fiddled with my memories, you told me you would let me see Amadeus. I said that, did I? At the time, I thought he, that meant Amadeus was on proper human history's side. But he wasn't. He was nowhere to be found among their ranks. They hadn't even seen or heard from him. He's not here in Yaga Moscow, nor is he here with the rebels. Is that... He is that is blah, is it that he was never summoned here to Russia in the first place? No, that's not right. He was here at one point. I'm sure of it. In which case, ah, I see you've eliminated all the logical possibilities. Then, very well. I suppose that must mean the time is indeed right. Yes, we were keeping the great prodigy here. We even took you to his room once. You what? You were, in fact, the one who wished for this. To be honest, I'm reluctant to open old wounds like this, but this is what you want. I am honor-bound as a man of God to comply. Salieri, the man in gray, who willingly cast aside his own sanity, allow me to unlock the memories you overwrote of your own accord. Come, the time for the Requiem is upon us. Huh. Right, this here will be where I get off. Gotta go there and give him hell. I'll damn well try. Well, Master, guess this is adios. Good luck taking down Ivan the Terrible. I'll meet you all later. Of course, that's assuming I come out of this alive. Yo, Pinky Promise? P -p Pinky Promise. Well, this is downright embarrassing. But I'm sure serious. I will make sure I'm there when you face off with that tyrannical bastard. Well, this is it. Moment of truth. Got no idea what we're in for. But if we're gonna do this, it's now or never. No prep, no practice. Gotta say, you don't seem too phased. Oh, with all you guys here to help me. Buff, naked, shirtless dudes. <laughs> well, that was kind of embarrassing, huh, Lady Musashi? Can't let him down now, can we? I know that. Come on, let's do this thing! It's almost time. Anything you want to say? No. You look troubled, having second thoughts, feeling caught between a rock and a hard place. In doing this, I am betraying the future. No, you're not. We're the ones who've been betrayed. I just want to show him that his actions have consequences. And if he has any conscience, I want him to make amends. Deep down, you know we're in the right. So you want me to bear this shame? You call it shame if you want. I think you should be proud. Right. Can you really be sure he'll come? He must know he's at a great disadvantage. He will come, I'm sure of that. His actions to date speak for themselves. I'm gonna do this. I wanna turn the tables on everything all at once. Right, Avisa Braun? Oh yes. I suppose this must quite be, be quite the thrilling story of a much-wronged underdog emerging triumphant. At least as far as you are concerned. You're right about that. There's nothing thrilling about this for me. This is simply a demonstration. Prove once and for all, I can do everything he can and more. I see. Well then, this is goodbye. It's time I met back up with Tanner after all. Cowardly, sensitive, bold, cunning. I must say my master is certainly anything but dull. I'm only third rate at best. Can't leave any stone unturned. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't dislike that self-deprecating side of yours. I'm not being self-deprecating, I'm just being honest. If Koi and Sky were still here, I would have had her keep an eye on all the key points, but it looks like that little minx isn't here in Russia anymore. I suppose she decided early on that we weren't worth her time. Fine with me. We're used to being written off. Go ahead and announce that the execution is about to begin. That way, we'll know exactly when they'll show up. What was that? I have report to make! Then you can make it to me. I speak for the Tsar. You must not trouble him, no matter what their circumstances may be. Yes, your Imperial Highness. A servant has appeared in the southwest Yaga, Moscow. He is attacking every opportunity in sight. Master? You said a servant, so there's only one of them? Yes, sir. And it's just a diversion. Ignore him. We can't do that! We opportunity are sworn to kill any who defy the Tsar. That is the sole reason for our existence. Alright, alright, I get it. Then make sure you deal with this quickly. Do not wake this Tsar up, no matter what. Yes, sir! Could've gone a lot better. You truly are a glass-half-empty type, aren't you? 
The Opportuniki here are damn near invincible. They should be able to handle a single servant. They use the emergency prerogative. It won't be too long before they send his head rolling. <sighs> Gotta reload! Whew, whew, whew. Damn it, how many does that make now? I'm lost count! 100, 200, maybe it's close to 300? Man, damn good thing I'm a servant. If it weren't for the whole limitless ammo thing I got going on, I'd be down to using my fish in harsh, lang harsh language at this point. But talking of limitless things, looks like there's no end to these opportunity either. Oh yeah, that's a lot of them. I ain't half bad at guerrilla warfare, but this is a tall goddamn order. Hey y'all, don't suppose you mind giving- Look at how many damn apostrophes there are. I don't suppose you'd mind giving up and scat-daddling anytime soon. Let's see, I've got two at my one o'clock, three at my seven, another one at my four. All right, Billy, just take a deep breath, whistle a little tune, and make sure your gun hand's steady. Hey, I almost forgot there's something else I want to ask y'all. Damn it, missed one. Ow, you, you little... Pan like a damn dog here. I get the feeling I must have done this sort of thing plenty back in the Wild West, water being scarce as it was. Damn it, that's smarts. You know, what, what I was thinking going this one alone. I'm an idiot, plain and simple, still. I'm the only outlaw around these here parts. The odds weren't against me, I wouldn't be me. Ed said this ain't no picnic. Then I can take that many of them all on my own. I wonder if all that nonsense Da Vinci was going on about could really help. Oh, is he gonna, like, ascend or something? Do you mind if I tinker with your gun? Huh? Where'd that come from? See, I'm a genius without peer in history, but I still can't do anything with the weapons that were forged by gods or legendary smiths. After all, weapons like that have their own origin in mystics from a time long before my own. Of course, that doesn't stop some cheeky heroic spirits from modifying others' weapons, but that's a topic from another for another day. At any rate, your thunderer came off an assembly line, so I can work my magic on it, as it were, on it for you. I'm having a hard time reading. And as luck would have it, this particular model's a rare find. Mass production may have succeeded at standardizing the quality of most goods, but every now and then an exception still manages to sneak through. As luck would have it, that weapon of yours just so happens to be one of the finest specimens anyone could hope for. But with help, help from a genius like myself, that's all it'll ever be. I gotta say, I'm mighty fond of the weight and balance of my gun as it is now. No, you only think you are. Let me have a look at it. Trust me, you'll be glad I did. By the time I'm through with it, you'll be able to shoot through anything and everything. Those magical bullets really do wonders. The only catch is, you'll need to be ready to handle this modified gun's kickback. You ready to raise your spirit origin another rank? Oh, she literally, it's, it's ascension. There's only one way to activate it. Concentrate, overcome, and keep on moving. Look to the limits beyond the limits. Head for the lightning that lies beyond. Set your sights on the horizon and keep on running. Mount your horse and head straight for glory and destruction. Alright. Let's settle this, Opportunity. Yeah! Oh, that's cool. Oh! Oh, that looks sick, actually! Hmm. <laughs> Turned out a map bigger than I thought, but the grip still feels as good as ever. Heavier now, though. But I suppose the improved bounce offsets that real nice. Never... Okay, Billy's design? Fairly mid for me. This? Freaking outstanding. A hundred out of a hundred. Red flowing scarf and hat and cool gun makes it much better. And to top it off, it's got three times the destructive power. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right then, Offridge Nikki. Y'all better not be coming around here thinking I'm the same old Billy the Kid you've been kicking around all this time. I ain't. Now show me what you got, you yellow-bellied shits. Wow, just throw a cuss out there. I'll gun you down by the thousand if I gotta. I'm very happy that we have in-story anime power-ups. Confirming Master Tanner's coordinates. Confirming infiltration to Yaga Moscow. You're coming in loud and clear on our end. Beowulf, do take good care of our master. Holmes? Oh, yes, the girl's off getting treated individuals. I see you. So she can transform into a servant. Given how close we are to enemy territory, there's no telling when they might try to attack the border. 
So I suggest she go and prepare for battle, just in case. If she can't fight at the front line, she can at least stand in front of me and hold the shield. Rudolph! Why are you looking at me like that? Have you know, this is a perfectly reasonable plan. Pardon me, Gordolf, but I suggest you keep an eye on the mountains to the north of Yagam Moscow. Tano Gordolf is right. Miss Kyrielite is receiving a tune-up of sorts from Miss Da Vinci as we speak. Miss Kyrielite was most insistent upon it. She said she wished to fight as a servant in the event the circumstances called for it. Mm, I'm gonna let it pass. Please don't glare at me like that. This happened after you left for Yagam Moscow. If all goes well, there should be no issue whatsoever, so please focus on your efforts on rescuing Miss Adelante. Personally, even if she is able to transform again, I still have no plans to include her in her combat ranks. Nor do I have any intention of sending a servant out to the front lines when her output has dropped so dramatically. I will only send one there if I am certain they are capable of seeing the mission through. Even if that means stopping her from rushing to your aid while you are in a dire predicament. Do you understand? Then do please focus on the task at hand, Mr. Tanner. Of course. Very good, then let us consider the current situation. It seems we still have some time left before Miss Adelante is scheduled to be executed. Billy and Beowulf's fighters have begun their diversion. There are fewer Apochniki here in the capital than we had foreseen, though there is still quite a lot. Now, is there anything in particular that stands out to you? Uh, it's actually a little warm here. They say the Tsar's power keeps the blizzard from raging too hard in the capital. There's some truth to that. This part of Russia is a lot nicer to live in. I don't see many onlookers. Maybe they're all afraid of the Oprichniki? Once the Oprichniki begin fighting, I imagine any crowds that have gathered to watch won't stick around for very long. The problem is, well, the most urgent problem, I should say, is the enemy's servants. Of them, we must be especially wary of one in particular. Not the priest, nor Koryanskaya, nor Anastasia, nor Ivan the Terrible. It is, in fact, the Minotaur. His position will determine our opening gambit. Now then... I saw the court mage not too long ago. This may be rude of me, but old-fashioned humans really do have such interesting faces. Let it be known that the leader of the rebel army is to be executed by beheading. Unfortunately, we don't have a guillotine here, so we'll have to do something special for the execution. Farewell, Adelante, leader of the rebel army. Well, this is fortunate. It would seem Lepik is in our side. How? Our first most pressing order of business is to rescue her. To do that, is it imperative we do not get separated? What, therefore, should be our next course of action? Right, right. All we need to do is get close. Asterios may have some measure of intellect, but from my own observations, the Minotaur does not. Which means that a plan which would never work on the former should succeed on the latter. This makes him the perfect target. Are you ready, Tanner? Deep breaths. Well done, as you have proven time and time again. Yours at your best when matters are at their worst. Alright, let's charge in head on. Sounds good to me. Musashi heading out. So you're just gonna barrel in there with no plan at all? That's insane. Damn it. Maybe you should think about getting out of here? I will, once I get a little closer. Let's see, I knew they'd show up. I wouldn't last two seconds if I got caught up in a servant battle, so I'm gonna get out of here. Adelante, it's time for you to make a choice. I don't care which of you which one you go with myself. If you want to save the Yaga here, you know what to do. Stay back, Master of Caldia. Alright, Paxi, I think it's time you skedaddled. You just find somewhere to hide and sit back and enjoy the show. You don't have to tell me. I'll go find a hiding place right now. So we're here! This time I'll eat you for sure! That's so. If you think you can handle me, take your best shot. But I should warn you, not even the dragon was able to choke me down. I love how Beowulf is literally just a California dude in, 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 in shorts. It's the best. Like, design-wise, it's so strong. I know some people probably want it a bit more, like historical and stuff, but nah, I'm on the opposite end. Okay, so we're definitely going to start with getting uh, as much meter as we can for the fact that we want to be uh, doing some ridiculous stuff to these guys. 
Oh, we got covering fire from Paxi. Nice. Or someone. Okay. Um. Let's go. Like this. Okay. Alright. So how many? Like, we're getting like 36 each turn. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Let's go. This. Oh, why'd my game get crusty there? Y'all saw that crust? That was that was some defined crust. Okay, we will get healing pretty soon though, so at least we have that on our side. Okay. More meter gain. Okay. Oh. Ouch, that hurt. Pop that on you while we're here. Okay, and let's finish this with... Yeah, let's just guarantee we get enough meter to do some good stuff in the next one. Come on, kill. Good. Okay. Alright, because we'll, we'll get healing going on with Merlin. I hate that voice for him. Okay, um, let's go attack up. There we go. Let's do do this to get more. Do suit up. Okay. And we're going to hold on to the attack plus for after. Okay, let's do this. Nice thing is we know that his Noble Phantasm is just a stat-based one. And not one that actually affects some, um, you know, it's not like an attack. Which is nice, it's a change. Unless he gets a new one here. I am the Oh, that is a scream. Sir. Good stuff. Oh, zero. Literally worthless. Oh, that damage, though. Jeez. Okay. Um... All right. Let's do. Hmm. I'm gonna hold off because I really wanna. Oh, but I really want you to do some big damage. Okay. So instead, we will go like this. I mean, it's a hundred percent, but that that double damage boost will be really good with you. Yeah, but I would rather it be on a buster. Natural demon. Okay. Oh, you, you really don't want to give me stuff for Emya, huh? Like, why? Why is it doing that? It's very strange. Okay. Um. Let's just do... Sure, we could probably do a hundred thousand there to, to break it to the next HP thing. Or not, never mind. I didn't see his defense up. Oh no! Oh no! Well, we're gonna have to play a bit a bit differently here. Okay. Um, well, don't you have one that's debuff resist? I think it's on the random effects. Nope. Your debuff resist is... 
There we go, debuff of you. We want that on you for sure. Okay, and then we want with you... Some of this. Do some of this. Do this. Okay. And let's pop this on you, because you have it right there with the red. So we'll go... Like this. Good damage. And up to 100. Very nice. Mm. Really? Really? Okay. Why does it keep doing that hitch? I did update Nox. Maybe it's a Nox update that is not having a good time. That's fine. It's not huge. Hmm. Team looks about the same, huh? Well, I'm gonna make my life easier by going with a double, um... What's the soccer with the chocolate do? Cute orange jet. Noble Phantasm gain and Noble... Ooh. That's not bad. I mean, the other choice is, is this, which is actually probably even better. Um, okay. We'll stick with this going on, except let's move this up. Right? Because then you'll be there to help them, and then if you die, you'll be good to go. That will help all together. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, we could also do that. The whole point is trying to get you this stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think that's fine. Um. And again, I do want someone to hurt the opportunity there at the start. We go like that, and then that, and then you'll be in the backup just in case. Okay. All right. Let's give this a shot. Round two. Round dose. You look good enough to eat! I'm picking up a spike in magical energy. He's about to use his noble phantasm. Now do it! Adelante! I told you to stay back. Chaos Labyrinth! What in the world are you? Alright, so far so good. Now's our chance. What's the plan? Hang on, don't move a muscle. So you cut through my shackles. Impressive. I'm just glad it worked. My fingertips are feeling a little numb in this freezing cold. Now I see. So you allowed the Minotaur to use his noble phantasm on purpose in order to rescue us. Yep, they said kick the enemy's asses. Could wait until we rendezvoused with you. Is this everyone? No, this is only a few of us. There, there are still children on the outside. Get a hold of yourself. Rushing in head first will solve nothing. The first thing we think must do is take down the Minotaur. The rest of you will remain on standby until then. Make sure Tanner stays safe. Hmm, not going for the children first. That's a bit strange. Yes, boss. Alright, now comes the hard part. We gotta actually... Here, here you are! Anyone who's not a servant, get back. This guy's no joke. Once we start fighting him, we won't be able to worry about you two. Damn it, I knew it. He's even stronger than before against Labyrinth. Gives him a serious home field advantage. Still, if we were hoping that we'd, uh... Hoping that surprise us, demon of the Still, if we you were hoping that surprise us, demon of the labyrinth, you've got another thing coming. Let's find it once and for all. If you're a worthier foe than Grendel. I bet you he's gonna start with his noble phantasm. Which again is just buff stuff, so hashtag buff stuff. Okay, let's see how this goes. Mopperchniki, literally just to grind. Very nice. I'll take that. Um, bit of this. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of bullets now. Okay, and now we'll go. This. Get some stars. Okay. That's like a nice amount of bullets now. I like it. 
Good job, guys. You sure are locating and or containing. Um, you know what? Let's do like that. Yeah, let's try and kill on the first hit if possible with that 80. So close. Okay, hope he size up maxed. We gotta definitely kill this next turn, because otherwise he does Noble Phantasm, which will not be fun to deal with. So let's make sure that we, like... Here we needs the meter. We'll do that. Okay, and there you go. Hello, buddy. Oh, you have something. Okay, let's see what your deal is. Increased charge by two. Not very nice, but... Okay. Um, Let's start with a... Large combo from you. Okay, and let's go... Like that, because that'll be double defense down with you, which will be quite nice to get. Let's see. Okay. Good stuff. Why are- what's even the point? Even with the defense downs, it's literally worthless, it seems. Okay, now we'll do a turn of you. You'll also get a defense down. Into some damage. Boy, you, you love to see those defense downs. Wow, that's some damage. So you know what, honestly? Because you're going to get your noble... You, you have the skill to give yourself extra charge, so let's do this. Plus, it's his noble phantasm is just for... Um, it's just for stats. So because of that, we can instead use this turn to attack, which is probably the better idea. Um, so then we'll go... Let's go with... Let's try and get C and I to use her skill again, because that was quite useful. Okay, he's going to use it this turn, so let's try and evade just in case. We'll see. Because um, if, if this is now an attack, that would suck. So instead, let's... and let's go... Lost the defense down. So let's go like this. Even if you put our defense down, nice thing is C and I won't be hit by it because she has the debuff immune unless it goes away this turn, in which case, oof, we'll see. Did not. That's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, all things considered, that didn't do too, too much, so I'll take that. Uh, let's do this up, because that'll also give damage cut, which will be quite useful. Um, we'll do this to get some more, some more noble phantasms going. Okay, we overgaged him. Should be good for getting meter. Mm hmm. Okay, phase two. Okay, 
Natural demon. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on using- on getting this so we can get her skill going on there. Game! You okay, dude? This is seen multiple times. Actually, you know what? No, instead, let's just do a combo. Why not? We got it going. Let's just do it. Because instead, we can see if we can get it when she has multiple blues, which would be even better. Boy, that defense up on him is kind of incredible. Or rather, the attack down on us is really incredible. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. How should I do this? I want to definitely hold off on using her. Well, I could use it now and get another defense down. Sure, let's try that. We can get at least one of those going. So let's go. I will get Sijunai there because she's she's cur Oh yeah, that damage is basically nothing, huh? Sijunai is doing the good damage though. Okay, we lost a lot of our debuffs. That's good. Um, I'm gonna heal Seed and I because she's our good uh, kind of attacker right now. Um, we'll go with blue, the debuff immune again, and let's do this to try and get more noble phantasms going. Okay, um, can dodge, but I'd rather do this for now, as much damage as we can while he's all defense downed. Yeah, like that's just some nice strong damage, which is what we want. Okay, alright, you'll dodge, you will dodge, Mash will die, but hey, that, it is what it is. Uh, your overcharge does, you're not human, um, your overcharge does decrease defense more, so let's go, yeah, we'll go. If Mash somehow manages to survive, then hey, she will get to use her Noble Phantasm as well. Okay, it's only 200,000 more. We got this. Hey, we got a crit too, nice. Yeah, do the Chaos Labyrinth. It does still hit if you're dodging, got it, good to know. Okay, Mash is dead. Emya is here. Ready to be ridiculous. Um... Let's go... Hmm... See how many we can get with you. Because we do have a full full thing here. Get as many stars as you can, my man. Okay. 43. Now we need Emya to get a bunch of good stuff. Come on, we need some reds on Emya. Works for me, those hundreds, Cape. Pop that on you. That'll help everyone. So let's go. That hundred there might be enough. Let's see. Oh, his defense up is also up. So we'll see here. 
Oh, no, definitely not. But we came close. <laughs> Sir, please stop buffing your defense, please. Please, I beg of you. Um, let's pop this on you, because I just want to- I just want to do as much damage as possible! Come on. And then those sea stars will be there for Amya, hopefully. We'll hope to see how many we get. Oh, we got it! Hi, dude. Alright. Good job, everyone. Do we have enough? Nope. And a gold Zerker token, which is one of the tokens that I really don't need compared to the others. But hey, that's fine. Try this on for size. Brrrr, not yet, not yet. I haven't eaten anything yet. Aye, aye, aye. Asterios. Is he remembering? What? What was that memory? What is this? What is this? What is this? Nobody ever looked at me like that. I wish that bit me. So you defeated him? My apologies for tardiness. Who goes there? Avisa Braun? Avisa Braun, you're Tanner's servant, right? What are you doing here? I suppose you might say I've been caught up in the whirlwind of all of this, or perhaps that I jumped in of my own accord. To be honest, the circumstances are far from ideal, but if we don't do exactly what he says, they're only going to get worse. Beowulf, Avisa Braun, what are you saying? You sound like you've gone over to the enemy's side. Perhaps I have. It's complicated. Nonetheless, I'm afraid I can't explain right now. We simply do not have time. With the Minotaur gone, there is no one left to claim ownership of the Labyrinth. Now that the magical energy required to maintain this miraculous relic from the Age of Gods is gone, we should soon be able to escape. However, if we act now, we can use this Labyrinth for our own means. What are you talking about? You want to turn it into a golem? I do. It is a relic from the Age of Gods, and so would make the perfect body for a golem. The only question to be answered is, what do we do about its core? Core? I know what that is, it's the thing that powers a gola makes it function, isn't it? That's right. I have been worrying about what to use for my next golem's core for quite some time. The ones I have been using in combat so far are mere replicas designed for the briefest of use. These replicas do require a vast amount of magical energy, but that is all they require. Unfortunately, they alone won't be enough to defeat Ivan the Terrible. I got a glimpse of him before the rest of you. Cadox M. Lupus showed him to me. That thing is utterly inhuman. He is a primal being, the kind that must have existed on this planet long before humans ever did. It would be impossible to slay a monster like that with such impermanent forces. So then, what can we do? How should we fight such a fearsome opponent? If we cannot find an equally powerful entity for the core, then... Uh... Yes, I will admit that I have long dreamed of recreating the Primordial Man. And you're saying that you would aid me in the goal in exchange for my assistance? Exactly. As luck would have it, we have an amazing asset on our side. I'm sure you'll have an opportunity to use it sometime very soon. Because you see... I see. That does make sense. It will all come down to the timing. Does that mean you're on board? I certainly am. Especially now that I finally understand your goal. If you can provide me with materials like that, then the only other thing we will require is a core. Or, Worry not. I'll take care of that. He's gonna shove a human into it, notably me. My only choice, you see, is to become the core myself. Oh, never mind. That's the opposite. Wh- Wait, what? Have you some wrong? I have a confession to make. Among the lives I have taken, one was a child. Oh my god, is it going to flash back to Apocrypha?
is it literally going to flash back to Apoc Apocrypha and, like, this is his redemption from Apocrypha? Holy crap. The Lightning Sar reigns, huh? Okay, well, we need a... We need ourselves a strong assassin. Not much choice is there. Uh, we'll grab you. Let's go with Kill Rider. We got you guys. I'm going to bring you up and I'm going to switch you out for... Uh, you. And let's go with, um... Let's switch this out then with... Fragment. And switch this one out with... Fragment. Switch this one out with... Don't think I, I can't afford a 12, so let's get a... Base 10% per turn, noble phantasm strength, doesn't matter for you. The strength up doesn't matter. Buster up. Sea star gather rate. God, look at look at all these. It's depressing. 300 each turn, increase art card effectiveness. Hmm. Sea star gather rate, noble phantasm gain. Sure hit and quick card. So you start drop. Hmm. The nines are the tough ones to deal with. Because I look at these and I'm like, I literally don't know what to give for you. I feel like it's easier to even go down. Let's uh, attack up for human. Honestly, probably the best is just damage cut. Because that plus, uh, like... Being able to give you a damage cut, that'll be useful, so. Oh, we're gonna go to the winter uniform. Definitely want that leveled up. Okay. Section 21, the Lightning Sar Reigns. A child, huh? I see. After I was summoned as a servant, I began killing people. I doubt I am the first to dirty hands as a servant that would so determinedly keep life clean in life. Once one summon, once one has been summoned as a servant, bloodshed is all but inevitable, especially given how central they are to the Holy Grail Wars. They are, after all, events held for the sole purpose of fulfilling mages' desires. And in one such Holy Grail War, I proved to be the worst kind of servant imaginable. All I have ever desired is to recreate the primordial man and save my persecuted people. I threw away the sense of pride and the morals that I held so dear, all in pursuit of that goal. I killed my own master who was just a child. Yep! Literally talking about Apocrypha. I only know about this from records of the event. I can't remember their name or face. Such a horrible deed and I cannot remember anything about them. But the records speak for themselves. They torment me proving beyond any doubt that I am just as driven by my desires as any other ruthless mage. That can't be true! It, it is, I've seen it. You can't rule it out, speaking for myself. I don't really care about that too much. Whether a servant remembers or not probably depends on them and the sort of memories they're dealing with. I know I don't care about remembering fighting in any boring-ass war, but I'd at least be able to like to remember what I'm saving the world. Feel bad about knowing you killed a child at some point. I'd say it proves that deep down you're a really good guy. But you're here now to save all of humanity. You don't get to sacrifice yourself. Yes, I may just be making excuses. Nonetheless, right now we don't need a servant. We need a giant. One that is powerful enough to stand up to that truly horrible beast of a Sar. As for Caddox M. Lupus, a word of advice. Don't write him off. Don't underestimate him. If you do, you'll regret it. Avisimbron! Master, I'm sorry. But I'm afraid this is the only way I can be useful for humanity. I leave the giant's command in your hand. Good luck, Master. You have a long path ahead of you and difficult choices to make, but I believe in you. Fight hard, courageous young man. You are human, but I know you have the strength you need to fulfill your duty. Well, let's get out of here before it like transforms because we don't we definitely don't want to 
learn what happens when you're inside a transformer when it transforms, you know? That, that the terrifying idea. Lisa Bron, I can't believe it. You didn't just use part of the Minotaur's body, Labyrinth for a Golem. You used all of it. That's kind of rad. The hell, where'd the shadow come from? Is that a golem? Did a Visebron make that? Run away, this place is gonna turn into a battlefield! Hold it. Don't point your gun at me. It makes me want to end you. But then my gun! You're with Kaldia, aren't you? That's right. Why would a Yaga help them? Are you a remnant of the rebel army? No. And again, I guess I am. I did think about rebelling for a little while. But I changed my mind as soon as I saw Ivan the Terrible in person. I see, so you were that, Yaga. I was told you were all but undone when the priest decided to make you look upon the Tsar. But it looks like you rather enjoyed it. Well, it's okay, you needn't be afraid anymore. This disturbance will cause the Tsar to awaken, which means that the Tree of Emptiness will finally start absorbing mana from this land. Oh, okay, it's a siphon. What are you talking about? Did you say that thing is going to wake up? That's right. You can see ev the, even the thought of that terrifies you. But it's okay, we're going to defeat Ivan the Terrible ourselves. What? I said it. I finally said it. I feel so much better now. I've been holding that in for a long time. We're going to destroy the Tsar, the last vestige of Russia in this world. What are you talking about? Are you betraying the Tsar? <sighs> well, that didn't take long. I suppose I should have expected that. Nonetheless... Oh, I've been a Prichnikt! Now that the Tsar is about to awaken from his dream, I'm afraid you Prichniki have outlived your usefulness. Huh. This took place not too long ago, back when I had only just been summoned. At last I will have the audience I desire. I can sense him here. Stand in my way and I shall kill you as well. Now take me to see him, you swine in priest's clothing. I'm impressed you got through the Oprichniki and made your way here, especially with that pitifully frail spirit origin. Very well. Out of respect for your hard work, I shall will grant you the audience with Amadeus that you desire. Besides, he told me to let you through himself. In fact, his exact words were, If a man claiming to be my friend should ask to see me, please show him the way. He has every right to be here, you see. All while smiling the most innocent, angelic smile I've ever seen. Amadeus, 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 oh my god, it's literally there. I must see you, I must speak with you. I want to ask you what purpose we were meant to serve by being summoned to this lost belt. Are we meant to kill one another? Or is this only one of us meant to kill the other? Is this passion stirring in my heart meant to be offered to a friend? Or is it an iron stake meant to be driven into an enemy? I thought that once I saw you, I would know the answer. However, I must warn you before you see him. He is, after all, thoroughly exhausted. He has been performing his noble phantasm without rest for the last two months. I am afraid his spirit origin is more fragile now than decaying flesh, and the flame of his soul has dimmed only to scant embers. Frankly, he's in no state to receive visitors. A dreadful sense of foreboding seized me. I knew from those words that something must be wrong, and yet... I still saw him, even before I knew what that something was. I thought it was you. I'd recognize those firm, upright steps anywhere. Ah, the man in grey, are you here to kill me? Mozart, what did you do to this prodigious talent? As you can see, we've been having him play the piano, though, I must confess, without time to rest. But rest assured, we did not coerce him into doing so. He volunteered of his own accord, after learning of the special circumstances here in Russia. I distinctly remember him saying, Well, great. Guess I'm just gonna have to set a new world record for the longest performance of all time. This is madness. You're playing the piano and the rest of the orchestra all on your own? How have you been doing this for so long? You hate hard work. You grow bored at the, almost at the drop of a hat. Oh, that's not very nice. See, I'd rather much just play a single song, get paid, and go back to my life of leisure. But given who I'm playing for this time, even I can't help but be motivated. Besides, the Tsar was on the verge of waking up when I began to play. I didn't dare to give him anything but my best. 
He could easily end up grinding this entire country to a pulp if I were to wake him after all. What choice do I have but to ensure he kept dreaming sweet dreams? So that's why you've been playing the piano? You mean a greedy miser like you has been playing his heart out here in the frigid cold for months on end? For a demented old man who couldn't understand your worth if his life depended on it? No need to be so rude to him, though I will grant you that he's rather up there in the years. The Tsar has been an excellent audience. He told me the music was like paradise itself. But I'm afraid I'm at my limit. In fact, I won't be along much longer. This environment was too much for a frail servant like me. I can't even move my fingers anymore. It's worse than the illness I contracted before I died the first time. Still, if I have to die again here, I don't want to do it without being useful in some way. So I thought I should... I thought you should kill me. I even told Macarius that was my condition for helping out. Come on, the Grand Duchess and the others are nowhere to be found. This is your chance. You do hate me enough to kill me, right? Then go on, just do it. You... Why would... Why would you just say that? Your skill is divine, a gift from God himself, and now... Now you want me to kill you with my own hands. You want me to make those awful rumors the truth? How can you say that? Why not? If you hate me enough to kill me, go ahead and get it out of your system. Who knows, you might feel a lot better. Just don't expect it to save your life or anything. I might be a peerless genius, but there are some things even I can't help with. Ugh. Mozart. Oops, once I let myself relax, I guess I ended up like a puppet with its strings cut. I don't think I'll last another minute. This is always how it went with us, wasn't it? I'd show up unannounced, challenge you out of nowhere, then make impossible demands when I won. Why break with the precedent now, Salieri? When this is all over, will you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for me? What are you? I knew it would come to this. I may not have any hope of surviving, but you still have a chance to win. Salieri, it's all about timing. Friends and enemies alike must work together, or no one will be able to defeat that thing. Salieri, you stayed closer to me than anyone else. You kept on hating me, even though knowing your hate would never be requited. I always appreciated that. So until the time to defeat the Tsar comes, I'm going to leave this his lullaby to you. Don't worry, this patron's ears aren't exactly the sharpest. You and I may not may notice the many minute differences in our performances, but he never will. So before I go, I'm going to put a curse on you. Stop, you can't! Now you must be Mozart for a while. Uh, Mozart, you! Oh, what an incredibly dull job that was. But then again, I guess it had its moments seeing the greatest monster in the world. Dreaming to the sound of my piano. It was almost like I was holding the world in the palm of my tiny hand. And that wasn't too bad at all. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's right, I remember now. I, I... Now go ahead and play your Requiem as much as you like. You may play it for Amadeus, or for the Tsar, or for yourself when you lose sight of who you are. You will find an instrument right over there. Yeah, rumble rumble enough to wake up the Tsar. That's ridiculous, what the hell are you thinking? Are you completely insane? I have been quite sane for a long time now, Yaga. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We now have Kaldia, those servants, Kadok, myself, and that giant. That giant is from a realm, from a time that demonic beasts could not hope to touch. So I'm going to cooperate with that boy and his team. Together, I'm certain they will achieve a miraculous victory. You're gonna take down that mountain of a Sar? That's right. Otherwise, this world will never be saved. Everything we do, we do for the sake of this world. Oh yes, I almost forgot. There's a very important detail you should know. Do you know what those devils at Kaldi are attempting to do? Huh. I believe they mean to restore this planet to its proper form in order to restore humanity. But that doesn't mean you Yaga are going to benefit from that. Your mistake in history. Your erroneous path will merely be pruned away. I take it you know that human from Kaldia well? Then please tell me everything you can about him. Does he really know what it is he should be doing? Are we the baddies? Uh-oh. The Tsar is waking up! The Tsar is waking up! After all this time, the Tsar is waking up. Now it is time for us to move on. Glory to the Great Tsar! Well, 
lopsided Spirit Origin readings in Yaga Moscow are dropping like flies. I think the Opechniki are disappearing. As we expected, once the battle began in Yaga Moscow, it was only a matter of time before the Tsar woke up. Although I will say that I certainly didn't expect this to begin moving. What is- are my eyes deceiving me? Is the monitor broken? This is one of Da Vinci's practical jokes. What's going on here, Holmes? What is that thing on the monitor? Huge doesn't even begin to cover it for that matter. Is it just me or are we headed straight towards it? Stop the vehicle, Munia! Hit the brakes! What could we hope to accomplish by going there? Nothing, that's what- we will just end up a stain on the bottom of that thing's foot. Give Tanner the order to retreat. Forget about investigating this tree of emptiness or whatnot. We're leaving Russia right now! We must risk our lives! I'd rather take my gems on the Zero Sale. That's impossible. We have team members in Yaga Moscow. We can't retreat now. That thing could catch them and crush them in a few steps, well before they have a chance to escape. Now our conditions for victory are unchanged. Defeat Ivan the Terrible and capture the Cryptor. If we're to accomplish those goals, we'll need everything we have at our disposal. How are things shaping up over there, Da Vinci? Skip your opinions and just give me the numbers. The Ortnax exoskeleton is expecting within expected parameters, or rather, is operating. Internal pressure regulation, combustion, and weaponry are all good to go. Armor checks out, ready to transport her at any time. Beyond that, it all depends how mentally prepared she is. Just the numbers, Da Vinci! Mr. Minier, take us into Yaga Moscow's western area. By my estimation, we should rendezvous with the investigation and team in 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Stop! I will stop, Phoenix or not, I won't break it out of this alive! Ivan the Terrible is no ordinary Yaga. Long ago, an ancient primordial beast was discovered in Russia's tundra. His name was Vladimir Putin. By merging with this creature, Ivan the Terrible began a period of... growth. And perhaps due to his heroic temperament, or his imperial bloodline, that growth continues to this day. It is said that mammoths and saber-toothed tigers went extinct when their tusks and fangs grew too large. But Ivan the Terrible has moved beyond such concerns. He is no longer beloved or worshipped. Now he is no more than a horrific monster. Man, we've gone so long without even seeing him. Was he even on like the first summon banners for this? Because if so, way to spoil this thing that it's been leading up to. Keep playing with every ounce of hatred you can muster, Salieri. Now that his nap is over, the Tsar is finally about to come face to face with reality. The Tsar's dream is ending. He is about to wake up. We are born from the Tsar's dreams. Once he awakes, we will return to dust. Glory to the Tsar! Long live the Tsar! That's literally like a Thanos snap animation. Whoa, game, you okay? Uh, the Opera Snake here turning to dust. Does rumbling mean he's woken up? Uh, what about the golem? It's still coming together. Its stone body is being assembled piece by piece like muscles growing on a skeleton. Holy shit, that is huge! Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Is this some sort of joke? Doesn't look like it. Uh... I have awoken from my dream. I see now what is happening in the world. It seems my dreams for Russia are yet to come to fruition. I must eradicate the countless traitors and expand my territory. My nap is over. The time has come for me to make a stand. So he is finally awakened. Ivan the Terrible is said to have once moved the capital of, of Russia from Moscow to the city of Alexandrov in the northeast. But that city no longer exists in this lost belt. It disappeared from this world as Ivan the Terrible continued to sleep, to mutate, to undergo further growth and mutation. Indeed, that mountainous creature is what remains of the man who fell back into a dream after his return from Alexandrov. Ivan the Terrible is no longer a man, nor even Yaga. He is a beast of the gods, the engorged culmination of his many dreams. Oh! Never mind! 
It's the Noble Phantasm version of him. All right. That's what we're facing. All right. Anastasia. Anastasia. The Upward Sticky told me what you said. Is it true? Have you betrayed me? Were the peace and happiness you told me of nothing but lies? Tell me, Anastasia! What is that? Don't tell me that's... The Tsar's Furious are all doomed. Oh, God. We can't defeat that. Nobody could. We should have never gone against it. Keep your distance. Do not get caught up in the civilian's evacuation. Never mind the lines between rebel army and civilian now. Keep them in line and get as far away from here as you can. Got it. I have fought both demonic beasts and giants before, but... I have never seen one of this size. I think he would even give the gods of Olympus's true forms a run for their money. Ooh, I'd love to see the fate versions of those. Except, remember when Francis Drake just killed Poseidon? That's like a, just a small moment that you forget about. And someone reminded me of it in the comments recently. That makes you go, huh, that's pretty important detail. I've heard there were giant folk all over the place back in the ancient gods. But at least where I live, they only grew to be about 10 meters at best. See, that's what I told you would not to wake the Tsar up. There's nothing anyone can do against the monster the size of a mountain. Excuse me, but you never told us he was literally a mountain-sized monster. If you just mentioned that one tiny detail earlier, we'd have been a lot more prepared for this sight. Besides, he's not a mountain. He's a mammoth. A giant kind of giant elephant. Uh, elephant? What's an elephant? Some sort of animal? Oh, right. I guess all the elephants in this world went extinct a long time ago. I don't know how I'd go about describing one now. Anyway, the point is, he's an elephant, not a mountain. A really, really big elephant, but still an elephant. You mean those elephant creatures are common in your world? Wow. Now they're kind of dying out, actually. Think we can beat them? Doesn't matter whether we can or not. We're just gonna, we've just gotta fight him no matter what. Slap face, hold hand over heart. Now that's how a general ought to be. Keep an eye on the big picture from the top of the golem for us, okay? We'll both be counting on you to use a command spell and play our trump card when the time is right. That said, he's not actually seeing us right now, is he? He's calling for Anastasia, saying something about her betraying him. That's because she did. Oh, wait. Hi. Caddock. This works out nicely. If you're still alive, then help us out. You will help us out, right? You're gonna fight Ivan the Terrible too? At least you're not a complete idiot. The upper Nikki are all gone and Ivan the Terrible's awake. All that's left now is to take him down. You're after our golem, huh? That's right. In this rush, Ivan the Terrible's neither human, nor Yaga, nor even a heroic spirit. He's a walking natural disaster. An active volcano that only causes destruction whenever he wakes up. It's better for everyone if we get rid of him once and for all. We need to build a new Russia, and your arrival here will give us the perfect chance to do it, don't you get it? Come on, really? Ugh, fine, I'll explain. When you got here, I saw a chance. Long time coming, but I saw it, and I took it. I used you to get further to further my own ends. Now, no, I don't feel bad about it. Get with it, Tanner. Well, that's an awfully roundabout way of doing things. If you just asked nicely from the start instead of being a jackass, Tanner would have been glad to help. I'm not here to make friends. My only goal is to get more game pieces so I can use to beat him. Understand? So I set up a game board. One where the rebel army, Caldia, Anastasia, and me would have no choice but to defeat him. Oh, it's like the fate grant it's like the fate stay night board game that I have that I still have to figure out time to play with friends after lockdown is done well, Tanner. Used to this sort of thing by now, right? Let's go save this world. Alright. Good answer. I'm the Terrible's got at least one weakness. He's slow. Does that even matter? I'm with Beowulf on this. He may not be as big as the D Dai Darabochi. Like the Naruto character. But we're still talking literal mountain size here. Of course he's gonna be slow. It means he can't keep up with you servants. If nothing else, you know he can't dodge your attacks. He can't fly, he packs tremendous force. He can cause an avalanche with a single step. He can even slam his trunk to the ground in place of an anti-army noble phantasm. His only weak point is the crown on top of his head. That is, his real body. 
real body? Try enhancing your vision. You should be able to see it even in this blizzard. I don't know how to do that. Ugh, amateur. Yeah, there it is. Doesn't look any bigger than a pea from here, but it's probably monstrous compared to us. It's gonna be tough to get up there. Even running up his trunk at full speed won't be enough to keep him from getting or keep from getting swatted even before one of us reaches the top. Are you all here? With matters having come to a head, we must put our old allegiances aside. Disaster has struck and the Tsar has woken. He won't stop until he destroys everything. I understand why you might bear a grudge against me, but right now, we all need to work together. The stage of the Tsar is after you, so... Yes, I'll hold him back with my noble phantasm for as long as I possibly can. After that, it'll depend on how motivated you are. Can you do this? I have no right to be a ruler. I hate the people. I hate this land. Everything I cared about is long gone. I don't even know why I became a servant in the first place. I barely even remember my own life anymore. All I have in my head is knowledge of this lost belt. Still, I did love my family, and they loved Russia. So, I will not shirk my duties. I refuse to drown in my grief or to flail around in desperation. I will simply do everything in my power to eliminate Ivan the Terrible, no matter how hard it may be. There you have it. Please help us. You do want to save the world, don't you? Guess we're just gonna have to go along with this, huh? Sheesh. No word from the border, Tanner? Are the comms not working right? Oh, nope. We'll just have to decide this for ourselves, although... This feeling... I think I'll be able to stick around here much longer. Oh, no! You know what? Never mind. Let's just get going. There's no time to waste. Guess Billy's not gonna make it. Might as well give Shan Shan a message for him in the meantime. Shan Shan! Alright, do it. Anastasia, I'll back you up with command spells. Adelante, I'm sure you can tell this is no time to be worrying about a rebellion. I know. And go on the attack. You should be plenty strong enough to provoke him. Show him your speed, show him how high and how far you can jump. After that, I don't care. Figure the rest out on your own. Come on, Anastasia, the Tsar's waiting for you. The fire inside him may be a little more than petulant embers, but it never goes out. He's indifferent, jealous, and hateful in equal measure. How wonderfully human. Master of Kaldia, do you really think you can defeat my master? No need to answer now. You can tell me later. Okay, let's get going. Master will be counting on you to back us up. Looks like this noble phantasm golem answers to your commands. So make sure you have it put up a good fight. Okay, guess I'll be off too. See you later, Tanner. Be careful to stay put. I use a lot of arrows, and they do not care what they hit. So how's this gonna work? But I tell you, Tanner, this world's finished now. Ah, uh, we still haven't fought him. Actually going to fight this huge golem? You can tell. None of the servants or even this golem can match the Tsar. Really think you can beat him just by working together? You're out of your damn mind. Tsar is the strongest being in this world, period. Well, it's impossible to beat him. Deep down, you know that's true, don't you, Tanner? I should get going to the fight. When I saw that thing, I heard him speak. That was it. I was done. I mean, come on, who'd believe that they could rebel against that kind of ruler? Think you could beat that thing? Well, you can't. He's a god. A real-life flesh-and-blood god. He's the ultimate being. There's nothing that can stop him from doing anything he wants. So we Yaga have no choice but to submit to him. Come on, you get it, don't you? Oh, no, no. I understand what you're saying, yes, but I can still move, so I'm not done. What? I'm gonna fight for the people I care about. What? Huh? I awakened from my long dream, only to find myself alone. I can no longer hear Metropolitan Makaris' stories, nor Anastasia's sweet nothings. My Nikki tell me they are all lies, every last one of them. Long ago, I became a Yaga and unified all of Russia. When the great cold wave struck, all my subjects were starving. I kept moving west in order to protect them. I moved west to help my subjects to spread the Tsar's glory. And yet we were suddenly cut off. This world was determined to be a loser. It didn't matter how hard we worked, or how desperately, how fervently we wished otherwise. So spoke the foreign priestess from beyond the stars in an unearthly voice unlike any I'd heard before. But I refuse to accept that. I did not endure this hell on earth to give up now. 
to passively accept our so-called fate. Every now and then, they name drop fate, and you're like, that absolutely makes sense why this game's called that. I certainly did not endure it so that I could welcome this sort of end to our world. Neither I nor Russia will ever fall to ruin ever. Anastasia! Do keep your voice down, your Imperial Majesty. I can hear you just fine. You are right to be angry. You are right to be furious. But the time has come for you to pass your fury on to another. At this point, your very existence has become a sin. Russia no longer has any need of your backward notions. We are the ones who must lead it into a new era. I refuse! I am Russia! I am the one who bears this world on his shoulders! No obsolete human upstart will take that away from me, not now, not ever! That sound. Let's do this, Golem Keter Malkuth! Kaiju fight! Kaiju fight! Rad! Holy crap, that's so cool! Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm from Caldia. Caldia? The keepers of Caldius? You let some of them escape Koyanskaya? I know Avisa Brown the Golem ma Master made that. And I know it's possible to ride on its shoulder since it's outfitted with defensive spells, but... It's one thing to know it and another to do it. You out of your damn mind, Tanner? This is exactly the sort of crazy you need to be to survive, succeed in these sorts of situations. I'll have to remember that one, damn it. This must feel like a terribly unfair punishment to you, my Sar. But this is simply what fate has in store. Prepare to die, Ivan the Terrible. I didn't know we'd be facing him now. Oh boy. So, um... Hmm. It's gonna probably load a lot, considering it's probably a big old boss fight. Are we getting the fabled... Foo Loop again? My least favorite type of cereal, Foo Loops. All right. Time to hit that reset. I blame Arknights because it was there on my main menu, even though I didn't even download it. Dang it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Didn't even see it. Come on. And resume. Let's get it going. Come on. Watch this just be too much for the game, and it's just like, nah, not nah, I'm not ever gonna load it. Son of a gun. That's pretty rad. That's really cool. Holy crap. It's a lot of HP also. Um, golem skill. Woo! Interesting. Interesting. That's... That's pretty dang neato, buddy. Okay, let's go. I don't want to do a buff with you just yet. I'll do this with you. And we'll do defense down. Defense down. Okay, and let's go like this to start. Okay. Innocent monster foreign, huh? That's some damage. Okay. Um. Let's get. 
your rate down. Let's also absorb your stuff while we can. Good, good, good. Um, try and get a ton of sea stars, because that'll be good for kind of everyone. Emergency prerogative. Invincible. That sucks. But however... Move your buff. Get rid of that. Game is literally dying from the lightning and stuff. Um, let's go... Honestly, actually. Like, look at all these hundreds, right? Like, why not? Actually not doing a ton. Those attack down, that attack down on us is incredibly powerful, huh? Oh. Alright, was that a battle of, hey, guess what? Good luck, bucko. I think it is, more than anything. It's like, hey, you better be prepared. I like how it's like, yeah, get Anastasia on your team. Uh, no. Look at that disadvantage. How dare you? Um, instead, because the thing that sucks is I can't get a, I can't get a caster in here to really help out. So my next best bet might be... I mean, you do extra damage. Hmm... Hmm... You could be helpful, because you have Invincible too, which is nice. Um... Let's go... Let's see here. Let's get... like this. And let's switch you out for... A backup gill would be nice, because having gill in the back just to ensure to provide that support could be quite nice, especially if we then put on... Um, got you. You do good damage. Give that to you, actually. That to you, actually. And then with you, we will get you something that... Let's see, because he does debuffs. Hmm. Three hundred HP per turn, increase art effectiveness. Damage plus and crit strength up. Crit strength up wouldn't be bad, actually. So let's give that a shot. Uh, I kind of want to switch that out from you, though, to honestly do this. To, oh, but we can't. It's too much. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Um, sure. Okay. Let's give this a shot now. The giant's fist roared. Each blow shattered, slammed into the Sar's monstrous body with an earth-shattering force. Sar howled, raising his trunk and calling down lightning from the very heavens. The blast stripped the giant of skin and flesh. The resultant thunder leveled the deserted buildings around the combatants. The giant's wounds began to knit back together as if winding back a clock, while the Sar still had not so much as a single scratch upon him. The Yaga who bore witness to the battle would come to say this was nothing less than a battle between primordial gods. It's literally the battle of, like, man versus beast. And that no ordinary folk should ever seen its like. This is cool. Damn it. I knew this going in, but he's too damn strong. Still, we've got all our trump cards ready. Our enemies are allies. 
and even our dead are all working together. Maybe if Amadeus had lasted a little longer, no, we couldn't have done this any faster. All we have to do now is beat him, nothing to it. I know I can do this, I know it! Sumerki Kremel, vai vi vi vi! Damn it, his hide's just too tough! I cannot believe it, my arrows cannot blind him! Damn it, he's even stronger than I thought! If only I had the emergency prerogative, no, forget about that! Macarius, you're out there smirking even as though you were watching this all go down, aren't you? Well, that's not very kind. I prefer to think of myself as more of an overseer. So why have you called for me? Does this mean you're finally ready to escape from this Russia? That you have exhausted all of your options? Not yet, I've still got you. You've got something up your sleeve, right? I know you've been hiding something from Anastasia. You're still hanging on to some kind of trump card, now's the time to play it. This is your problem as much as it is ours. Yes, I suppose you're right. Neither Anastasia nor I can escape the Tsar's wrath any longer. So I've got someone to help. He may be quite ordinary compared to Mozart, but that only motivates him to try so much harder. In fact, that efforts makes his performance so much more emotional in a way prodigies like Mozart would never even bother to attempt. Kadok, your idea of using Mozart's music to keep the Tsar asleep was a good one, but that was never going to solve the fundamental problem. You still need to learn how to stir up other people's emotions. Is that so? Thanks for the warning. What is your trump card anyway? Knowing in you, I bet it's in terrible taste. The only way to fight a dead-end delusion is with a delusion devoid of hope. Do you really think waiting patiently would bring you salvation? That you could achieve greatness if only you had talent? I am afraid you are dead wrong. One needs neither talent nor repentance. Now come, Conductor. The time to blossom is at hand. Now is the time to let your howls resound. Take a page from Caddock's book and fix your mistakes. I can't, I can't, I can't. My piano could never hope to pacify the Tsar's fury. I just don't have that sort of talent. It's impossible, I know myself better than anyone. I know all too well that I'm what I'm capable of, and I can't play the piano the way we need. I, I can never hope to be a match for you no matter how hard I try. I don't care, play it anyway. SILENCE! A prodigy like you would never understand what it's like to be forsaken by the god of music. I am a Salieri, born only of a desire to end your life. Who cares about instruments? I forgot everything I knew about them back when I was alive. I don't care, play it anyway. The world is doomed otherwise. The world, you expect an Avenger like me to? <laughs> I could never hope to make the kind of music that you do. The kind that resonates with every listener's heart as they hear your requiems. I know. I'm incapable of moving people like you could. I know that too. Ah, oh, but Mozart, you phantasm of my own deluded mind, there is one thing I do know. I know your dark side. I know how you covered your face in shame in a pit utterly devoid of light. You never saw us as common folk as humans, and why would you? The only thing you ever fought here with you was your own dim inner demons. You loved music more than they did. You loved music made by human hands, no matter what manner of demons preyed upon your mind. And yet neither music nor society nor anything humanity could uh, make brought your salvation. So if you continue to play the piano with such elation even after becoming a heroic spirit, then I too have reason to play the piano. So I will play no matter what sort of humiliation I suffer nor the mockery I'm subjected to. Exactly, don't even worry about how good you are. After all, everyone sucks compared to me. There you go again, Mozart. Very well, then I shall play. I shall play for all I'm worth. You're pre Jigis' talent is far too unreliable to be taught in textbooks anyway. I will catch up to you even if I must employ every musician's technique ever created. Well, what do you think of this? Have I caught up to you now? No. No, this isn't it. I'll never catch you like this. Let your emotions guide you. Let my emotions guide me. My emotions are grief, anger, and my lust and your life. Is that truly how you want me to play? How's this? Feel my anger, my hate, I'll kill you! Behold, Mozart! Look upon my regret, my hate, my passion, my fury! That's it? You don't need skill when you look like that. Let your anger over the unfairness of it all ring out. 
Let your emotions pour out of your fingers, my brother. Silence! Be quiet and listen! I am not your brother. I will follow my own path. Whoa! Okay. Your music playing throughout the town. I think it's coming from the top of the palace? Salieri, this must be his own personal di dice arre day of wrath. It's not about town anymore. He's just wailing on the keys desperately, even furiously. Which is exactly why it speaks to the heart. At least it seems to be getting to the big guy. Dang, what a bop! You sound this anger. Stop, do not bind my heart! You're wide open! Just smack him right in the face. I don't get it, Cellier Spear Origin. This noble phantasm is growing stronger. How is that possible? There's no way anger should be able to boost servant abilities like this. Of course there is. At least if that anger is the core part of the person, rather than something fleeting and superficial. He has finally abandoned all pretense. That scream you hear now is Antonio Salieri's true nature. He admired Mozart more than anyone, which is also why he hated, feared, and pitied him. He loathed the masses who failed to understand Mozart's genius, calling them all fools and idiots. He feeds his own anger, but so does Mozart, and the very period of time that created their relationship. That is Antonio Salieri, the man in grey turned adventurer. Now he is pouring every experience of his life into this very performance. I'm so mad! <laughs> Listen well, Ivan the Terrible, a Yaga of grief and of anger. For a long time, you have been doing the pruning, but now it is your turn to be cut away. You may be livid, but your anger is misplaced. You supped the blood of hundreds, thousands of demonic beasts in order to gain that enormous body. For countless years, you have used your power for cruelty and tyranny. You let your opportunity roam free, killing Yaga after Yaga for untold generations. You say everything you did was done to survive, but even so, your existence now is nothing more than a monument to sin. How dare you worm your way to my mind? Be gone, miserable little musician. Dang. Rip to the palace. He's still playing. His lightning struck the palace. That bastard, I can't believe he'd burn down this old place just to get at Salieri. He won't if we have anything to say about it. Or if we're gonna hit him hard, now's the time to do it. I know that this is our last chance. We have to pull him off that mammoth no matter what. Yo, shout outs to this music. Get the golem ready, Tanner. We're gonna stop this demonic piece once and for all. Oh, it keeps playing. <laughs> yes. I was gonna say, if it cut to the game music, I would be so mad. When you got public domain soundtracks, you use them. Absolutely. Rad! Okay. Uh, well. Start with a defense up. And we're gonna do... Uh, support, we're gonna go... Up with you. We're also gonna go this with you. Cause we can do this. Okay. Yeah, this is rad. Look at us actually dealing damage now. Hooray. Oh no, we saw the side of the elephant. My immersion is ruined. Okay, well, uh, let's do a big combo with her then. Alright. Ah, this is good. Oh no, I hope it doesn't kill the music. Oh my god. How? How? What? How? <laughs> that's, that's a moment where it's like, yeah, it's a video game. Okay, that sucks, but we can remove your buff. So, remove buff is this one, right? Yeah. Okay. As how many turns is it? It's only three turns, so it's like, use them while, while they're here. Absolutely. 
Should I pop this too? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Especially because it's got defense down still too. So let's go, um... Nice stuff here, nice! Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. Okay, let's go. Full combo with you. You did lower our attack, but like, who cares? We'll still deal good damage on you. Oh, listen, to them keys go. If only he was part dragon. Because then we get that dragon charge down. That crit rate down, though, will also be quite nice. Yeah, we broke the first one. Okay. Roughly the same amount. Divine Beast Lightning. I didn't even see what that was. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't know he'd do that. Didn't know he'd do that. Well, good to know. All right, so when he's going to do his thing, you need to freaking guard it. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's do a little combo with you. Da I didn't know it'd be like that. Well, geez. We'll see how it goes then. Oh, game, you okay? Oh. The answer is apparently no. <laughs> the answer is apparently not at all. Uh. Okay, that. That still works. That's my test that I go with. Okay, whoo. <laughs> just murdered the audio, huh? Okay. Um, suck that out of you, because that's good to have. Um, noble Phantasm Gauge up, sure. It's only by 10, that's that's not good, because we didn't upgrade it. Um, let's do an attack up then. Let's try and do some stuff with you. Because then let's go like... Let's do some of this then. Okay. Don't hit her again. Good. Okay. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna do this instead. Okay, and let's go then. Okay, let's try this. Boy, this actually might be tough. Okay. All right. Oof, cape. Hmm. Okay. Let's We have no defensive stuff, huh? Okay. Let's do this to finish this phase. Hopefully he just doesn't blow us all up in a single turn like last time. Mm. But boy is he coming close. Okay. Do an attack up. Rather that. Sorry, I thought that was attack up. Let's do 
宝物庫の鍵を開けいいわとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいいわねとてもいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいだからすべては無駄なのに。That's bad. Well, I'm gonna withdraw.、Uh, so here's my plan. I'm actually going like right now to go see Heaven's Feel 3. It's in theaters right now and it's again a private showing, so I'll be going to that.、Um, when I come back, I will be playing this and I'm gonna beat it. Because I came close this time. I came real close. What I think I'll have to do is just know then for sure. Hey, when you're about to break his gauge and he gets his meter up and then can do his noble phantasm, invincible up. You'll be good. Okay, so I will see you then for that in a sec.